Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the B&W Companion OEM fifth wheel hitch. This fifth wheel is designed to drop directly into your factory puck system. Um, it's going to couple to the front of your fifth wheel trailer so that you can safely tow it down the road. Right off the bat, you're going to notice how well built this hitch is. Uh, B&W stuff, all of their stuff is very, very thick, sturdy steel construction. Um, the powder coat that's on here is, is almost like no other powder coat out there uh, when it comes to fifth wheels and accessories like that. Their powder coat is super thick and it's going to last for the years to come, even with your fifth wheel out in the bed of your truck. We do recommend using a lube plate or grease to go with your fifth wheel. I personally like lube plates more because you don't have grease everywhere and you don't have to worry about getting it all over you. Um, we recommend using that because if you don't, you are going to get quite a bit of friction on here and that will take the paint off. This fifth wheel is going to be available in two different weight capacities, 20,000 pounds and 25,000 pounds. That is the GVWR of your trailer. When it comes to operating this fifth wheel and getting it coupled up to your fifth wheel trailer, um, I think this is going to be one of the easiest out on the market to use. You do have some other options that will have a spring-loaded handle here. The issue with that is I am a, I'm a, a taller guy and um, reaching over the side of your bed to be able to get that handle is even difficult for me sometimes to get the right angle to pull it out if you got stuff in the way um, it's it's just kind of hard to, to do sometimes i see a lot of people hop up on their their tire or they'll use you know like on this ford bed we have a step here on the side they'll try to get up on that um, all that stuff is very very difficult to do i've not seen those issues with this particular fifth wheel because of the way this latch is designed this handle um, the hard part is going to be reaching this pin. If you can get this pin unsnapped, you take it out, and then the fifth wheel will have this really long handle, which allows you to open it with ease. Now, we don't have a fifth wheel attached here, but this, this jaws are spring-loaded to help you open and help you close it. Um, what it'll do is, this is how you couple it. When you back into the, the fifth wheel itself, these are going to slam shut, and then you can drop your pin back in place. When you're uncoupling, what will happen is you open up this handle and it's going to spring open, which will spit your fifth wheel out, your, uh, your trailer, and that will allow you to pull out. If it, for some reason, your fifth wheel is leaning against those jaws, which happens, you know, campsites are not perfectly level all the time. If your fifth wheel is leaning into your truck, we've seen a lot of times where these jaws want to stay closed. All you have to do is open up these jaws on the back side of the fifth wheel there's a pinhole. You take that same pin we just pulled out, slide it down in that pinhole, and it'll keep the jaws open so you can pull out. To help you tow your trailer nice and level and get that ideal six inches of space between the top of your bed rails and the bottom of your fifth wheel nose, the uprights here will have a height adjustability from 16 and 3 quarters inches up to 17 and 3 quarters inches and to 18 and 3 quarters inches. So you have about two inches of height adjustment there. Now, there's height adjustment in this, but there's also height adjustment in your the kingpin itself, on your pin box, on your camper. So when you get this new hitch or you want to get a new kingpin, something like that, you will want to work with both of them. If you need to lower that one to give yourself a little bit more space between the bed and the front of your camper, you have to do that. Um, it's a pain to do the first time, but you only have to do it once for the life of towing your camper with this fifth wheel. A big question we get here at eTrailer all the time is, how am I supposed to get this fifth wheel in and out of my truck by myself? Well, B&W's got you covered in that. Um, the, the head itself is going to have a significant amount of weight to it. The base itself will also have a significant amount of weight. The thing is, is you can take this pin, pull this pin out of this side, pull that pin out of the other side, lift up on these locking handles, and you can remove just the head, and then you can remove just the base. The way that the base comes out is you'll take the snap pin out of the side here, rotate both of these handles out, and when the handle is perfectly perpendicular to the hitch, um, you rotate it out like this. When it's perfectly perpendicular, you can lift the whole base out. I do not recommend loading and unloading the whole thing put together um, unless you got somebody to help you maybe if you have it on like a little cart or something or if you have a hoist in your in your garage a lot of people will have those so that they don't have to take it apart and um, reassemble it when it's not in your truck you can definitely do that but just be careful when you're loading and unloading it's a heavy hitch but truthfully I would rather have a heavier built hitch when I'm towing my fifth wheel than to have a super light one that's not very sturdy. 
Now we've talked about the weight capacities, but the vertical load limit is what's really gonna put the strain down on your vehicle's suspension. The vertical load limit, the maximum for the 20,000 pound version of this hitch is going to be a max vertical load limit of 5,000 pounds. If you get the 25K version, the max vertical load limit is gonna be 6,250 pounds. So just keep that in mind. That is a lot of weight pushing down directly over your axle onto your rear suspension. Uh, this is where I recommend getting a set of airbags or some sort of suspension, uh, rear suspension enhancement to help the back of your truck out. Anytime you're towing a fifth wheel, unless it's an odd case to where you're towing a super light fifth wheel, say a 6,000 pounds fifth wheel with an F350 like this, it's, it's not gonna hardly touch the rear suspension on this truck because it already comes pretty stiff from the factory. But if you're putting this in a truck that you're already having issues with it squatting, I highly recommend taking a look at our website and some of our videos to see what options are gonna be best for you. Now we're gonna talk about the difference between a stationary hitch and a sliding hitch. Um, the stationary hitch is going to be for your eight foot bed trucks like we have it in here, um, or your short bed trucks that have a rotating pin box on the camper. If you have one of those, I highly recommend using this one with your short bed truck. You can lock that wedge in here. It's gonna cause the, the kingpin to stay in place here, but then rotate up on the mounting point itself on the fifth wheel, and it'll work with flying colors. If you have a short bed truck and a standard pin box, I would recommend the B&W Companion slider. It'll still drop into your factory puck system. We have all the different fits on our website using the fit guide. Um, but that slider is gonna give you more space to be able to make those tighter turns or to jackknife your trailer into uh, a camp spot. Uh, Lord knows it's, you're gonna have tighter spots that you have to get into campsites, um, lots of different um, resorts and stuff like that that you're staying at they will try to pack as many campsites in there as possible. And a lot of times what that means is they're getting rid of a lot of the pull through sites and making it more difficult for you to get your camper into that spot. So um, giving yourself more cab clearance so that your nose does not make contact with the cab of your truck is definitely gonna make you feel better when backing into it. I have seen lots of people that have the slider that don't use it very often. They may see that, oh, it's just a little bit of a, a slight turn that they have to make. They don't ever have to use it when they're driving down the road. Um, but when they, when they need it, it's very, very important. So they slide it back, make the turn, get it locked back into place, and then head back down the road. Well, guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the B&W Companion fifth wheel hitch is right for you and your OEM puck system.